This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Yeah, arc date. I know it's June. About the 25th or 26th. I have moved more times than I can remember. Uh, several nights I don't know where I've been. <laughs> uh, it's been interesting. Um, I'm focusing on that because I was sitting in a trailer an airstream that a friend is letting me stay in. It needs a lot of cleaning and leveling and move so the awnings will actually work. It's jammed in between trees. But I was sitting there about ready to have a bite to eat. It's probably about 1 o'clock in the morning. I have no clue. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat and go to sleep. And I looked out the window and right in the middle of the window was that moon, half moon. A Sabbath moon. Might have been yesterday, might be today, but it was about a, it's about a half moon. Right in between. It's just right in between two trees. I don't know if you can see that. I'll find out when I post it, if I ever get it posted. I'm going to get a Wi-Fi hotspot here pretty quick and uh, go for it. And I'll be able to upload more often. Probably got 30 videos to load. Apologize for the delay. I've been just trying to stay alive and get my salt order done. Yep, this is Jerry Dime with How to Get Out of Babylon. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. And hey, I've got a lot of experience now being homeless. So, hey, if you're listening out there, Sky Truth Bailey, you'd be proud of me. God bless you. Get the hell out of Florida. Get off the East Coast, everybody. Get off the East Coast. Asteroid strike September 13th, possibly. But darn sure, 29th of the is September 13th. It's the end of the Shemitah year. And I think we're going to see some judgment. Physical, economic, military, I've told you that. Get wise, get out of the cities. Survival rule number one, get out of the cities. Survival rule number two, get out of the cities. And survival through rule number three, you should be able to figure it out by now. Get out of the cities. So... Plan A falls apart and you don't have a plan B, make plan B to get your butt here to the Ozark Plateau and help us. We desperately need lots of people. There's plenty of food for everybody. There will be people bringing in storage food. I have a very dear sister here en route as we speak. We'll have seeds galore. There's all kinds of wild plants. I'm learning more and more about that from David Ray. Um, yeah. There's going to be plenty to eat and plenty to do and plenty of shelter, so get on out here. Drive now or walk later. Come now with all of your resources, all of your family, or come later having lost some or all of it, both of those. And would you please share and like this video? I've been really remiss in that. Please share and like so I can expand my uh, subscription base. Thank you. Bye-bye.